Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We're here at the Torque Custom Cycle Shop. Once again, wanted to bring up this little conversation with you guys. Um, I know we have spoken a lot about cams on this channel. Uh, different cams uh, from the 475, from the 465 fueling that's on my bike, the 475 that used to be on my Lowrider S, uh, the 3030 cam that we spoke about on Duffy's bike, amongst others. Um, so I thought it might be a good idea to have a conversation with Mike because he, he installs cams that, that, that I think that's probably one of the most things that you do in the shop, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys are always asking, well, I, I don't know which cam to go with or I don't know if I should go with a horsepower cam. I, I don't know if I should go with a torque cam. What's the difference? So I think it, it would have been cool today to just kind of answer all those questions for you guys, make it a little easier and kind of shed light on uh, what might you might, might, might be more interested on there. Now, it is safe to say that it also depends on the type of bike you have, depending if you want to go from a torque cam to a horsepower cam. Yeah, I mean, if you want to simplify it. Yeah, we will we'll, we'll so simplify it. Basically, I get a lot of calls about stage twos. So, customer will call up and say, I want to do a stage two. My first question to them is, what type of rider are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you a guy who's going to cruise? Are you a guy that lives in that four to 5,000 RPM range at all times on the highway? You know, how do you ride? Mm -hmm. And what I find is that most of the guys with soft tails, um, they're the guys that are out there ripping it up and tearing it up. I mean, we do have a lot of guys in the performance bagger scene, but mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of guys that just want to chill. You know, I've got a, a, a Road King on the lift right now that this guy has a low rider ST and he's got a Road King. So the Road King, they're both coming in for stage two. So the Road King's here, and he says, this is my chill bike. I want a little more power out of it, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. When it comes to my low rider, I'm going to ride it like an animal. So what we've done in the, in the Road King is we're putting in a torque cam. His main goal and end game on that Road King is to be able to go from zero to 60 faster and get you know to get up to highway cruising speed and he wants to be able to have better passing power on the highway okay. so he's gonna live in that 3,000 to 5,000 that's where he wants it to shine so we're putting a torque cam in there okay, okay? Um, and what, what, what cam might I ask what we're talking about that so in that bike we're gonna put the SNS 465 cam mm -hmm. in there Okay, 475 is the from SNS. As you know, you had that cam. That's a great all-around cam. Piece of a cam, yeah. yeah. It's going to give I, you. I think, the, yeah, I, th I think that cam is like the mid-range cam where it gives you a lot of torque, mostly torque, but it also gives a good amount of horsepower. You get a good amount of horsepower. I think I'm going to get more torque out of this, and then I'm going to get horsepower, mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to achieve with this bike. Okay, okay. So we're going over 465 in this one. Um, in his low rider. We're going with a 3030 cam. Okay. That 3030 cam, and I've always said this, when you get on it and you start getting into those higher RPM ranges, that cam will pull until you hit the red line. Yeah. Just about. I mean, it may not exactly until you hit the red line. That's just how I describe the cam. I mean, you 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 swear by that cam. That's I do. I, I really like that cam. Yeah. Um, I like that cam in soft tails. It does well in touring bikes also. Uh, it did it did really well in Duffy's bike with the 107 with the short stroke uh, crank, it spins up quick and that it really did well. You rode that bike. Yeah. I mean, it did well on that bike. It, it runs great. Yeah, it runs great. And, and, and overall, <clears throat> it is a sound of that bike. So as we know, the main reason a lot of people decide to get cams, especially on the Milwaukee 8s, is because yes, they want more power, but overall it just changes the whole sound of the bike. It makes the bike sound like, like a Harley Davidson. I like the, the Milwaukee 8s, they stock Milwaukee eights. They they just sound like sewing machines. It is it, that that's the truth. Yeah, you they're, know? they're smooth running motors. They've designed them that way. Yeah. Um, with with the counterbalancing and everything, they they just designed that motor yeah. to run that way. Yeah. And you know we've got as you know that fast Johnny over there, that we just built up with the one twenty eight, and it's got a Redshift five fifty two. What cam is it now? Redshift five fifty two. Oh. You'll you saw how that engine shakes when it oh, idles. Yeah. I mean that. That thing idles, unbelievable. That thing's an animal. That thing sounds great. And any other difference when people are asking you or, or any opinions that you're giving them when they're trying to decide if 
they're going to get a horsepower cam or, or a torque cam? Well, here, here's how I describe it. This is my description to most of the customers. When they say, well, what's, you know, if I say, do you want a horsepower cam or do you want a torque cam? And some people will say, I don't know. What's the difference? Right. And I tell them, horsepower is how fast you can hit the wall. <coughs> torque is how far through the wall you're going to go. Mm. Okay? So if somebody wants to get from zero to 100 really fast, that's torque. If somebody wants to get zero to 100 and then just keep going above that, that's your horsepower. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's the horsepower is just at the higher end. Okay. And but there are, like you said, there's other factors that'll that'll. We're not going to get into talking numbers or anything like that, but there's a lot of things that there's a there's a formula. There, there's exhaust. There's injectors. There's intake. There's so many things that can also affect that. Right, right, right. But. You know, basically, if if you want to get up to speed fast, you want a torque cam. If you want to, once you're up to speed, be able to get go faster. Yeah, that's your horsepower. Okay. Well, that should uh, answer the question. Um, I'm I'm really happy with the cam that I have on my bike. I got the the Fueling 465 cam on there. Great cam. I have no complaints about it. Great power. Makes great power. It uh, you know, bike sounds great with it as well. Um, I have, I have no no complaints at all and we're still trying to work with, with the motor as well so i was on a mic earlier we we're talking about uh changing out the throttle body then later on hopefully we you know we, we we might be doing a stage three i still haven't decided decided on that yet um i mean i'm pretty happy with the with the stage two um but i think going next with the throttle body and maybe change a few little things here and there might might change a few things so up. what it's going to do is it's going to give you a couple more points uh here and there and it may change some of your curves so if you're uh, it may change your curve like for your torque and your horsepower mm -hmm. it you're not going to get a drastic increase mm -hmm. by doing it but you'll get a couple of points yeah. now if you're looking to do stage three or stage four down the road then it's a nice building block mm -hmm. um, stage three is a nice kick but stage four doing those heads is is really what yeah. makes the motor shine yep and then we all know that this guy just just recently got the 135 yeah, I got, Marley, the, so. I got the 135. Um, it's a nice motor. Um, there are a few uh, things. I like how you just say so nonchalantly. It's a nice motor. It's a nice motor. The things I'm going to change, though, you know, I don't like the Harley cams that they put in there. I'm going to put my own cam. Probably, I talked to George Bryce uh, a couple, of, like last week, and we're probably going to do one of his cams in it. And um, I'm probably going to change the valve springs because I can't get a straight answer as to what lift those valve springs can support. Mm. So just to be safe, I'm just gonna change the valve springs. I mean, the motor's not in the bike right now. Right, right, right. I can do them you know, pretty quickly without having to work around the frame and things like that. Yeah. So between the valve springs, the cam, um, and we're gonna do some compensator and clutch work on it nice. because I just have my stock stuff on the 114. Nice, and then lastly, uh, if, if you had to give me your top three favorite cams that you will recommend. Okay, so my favorite cam is the 3030. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that cam. Um, now, there's a ton more cams out there, but we're talking, right now, we're just talking about a drop-in cam. Mm -hmm. No motor work, no, nothing no. else besides a cam. Just so a that cam. just, I just want to make that clear. 3030 is probably my favorite cam. Uh, followed by the SNS uh, 475, and um, I don't know. I don't. I, the Redshift 468 is nice. It's probably a toss-up, like the Redshift 468 and may, and maybe the fueling cam that you have. That's kind of. I know there's other cams out there. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there's so Woods. I, I've been hearing about Woods. I, I mean, Woods is they've been around a while, but I've been hearing about uh, the the new Cycle Rama cam is supposed to be amazing. I just haven't done one yet. Yeah. You know, so, because most people come in here and, you know, everybody's very internet educated now and they're, I want this, I want this, I want this. So we don't really get a chance to recommend things too often. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you got your questions answered today. Uh, if you guys are in the local area and want to get some work done to your bike, 
and you're around Jersey, New York, stop by, hit up Mike. I'm gonna be linking on the description down below. Um, and that's it, man. Now I'm gonna be catching you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.